So I'm scrolling through the scripture and I came across Psalms 27 verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. It's amazing how certain stuff can happen in our lives that bring the scripture to life. And it just brings forth a completely different context of the meaning on what this scripture can represent. It's just certain moments that just bring the scripture to life. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. That scripture came to life <laughs> because of what just happened. <laughs> oh, man, it's amazing. What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So it's amazing how sometimes the Heavenly Father will teach you in the most unexpected way possible. Let me tell you what happened to me, y'all. So I'm driving, and I get behind this car that's driving kind of slow. So I had the bright idea to get out of the lane that I'm in to try to go around this person and get in front of them. So as I'm getting over it and I, and I get into the next lane and I continue to drive, what happened was the traffic ended up getting more busier up the road the further we go so by the time i was trying to get back over in the lane that i was originally in my turn was coming up but because the traffic got so busy i couldn't get over so what i ended up having to do i had to go through the light in order to turn around to get back on the course that i was heading toward and you know what happened because i had to go to the light I ended up seeing that car that I was trying to pass, pass me. And they continue on. And then the Heavenly Father spoke to me. He said, if you would have remained in the line that you was already in, you wouldn't have had to take these unnecessary steps to get back on the course you was on, and you wouldn't have missed your turn. Moral of the story. Don't get out of line. Have patience. Because if you don't, you will miss your turn. See, a lot of times we miss our turn because of lack of patience. And sometimes we might be trying to pass people when the Heavenly Father is saying, but if you stay in line, instead of trying to pass people, maybe all you have to do is take a few more steps and then it'll be your turn. See, Sometimes all we got to do is wait a little bit longer. But if we have lack of patience, we get out of line thinking we can find a faster route. So the people we think we're passing end up passing us because they stayed down. They remain on the course. They didn't try to take no shortcuts. They didn't try to pass people. They didn't quit the journey because it felt like it was taking long. They might want it to, but they remain faithful. So stuff might be taking a long time to happen in your life. But if you remain faithful on the path that the Heavenly Father has you on, maybe all you got to do is take a few more steps and it'll be your turn. But if you get out of line because you lack patience, not only will you miss your turn, but you will have to watch the person you try to pass go past you because guess what they're in the same boat as you as well but the difference is they remain on the path they continue to have patience and now they're further alone than you so don't pay attention to others progress and don't pay attention to how long it's gonna take you will be surprised how far God can take you if you have patience. I pray this word bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.